Before we dive into deciding your path to the CCNA, I want to thank you for not using the rock, paper, scissors method that was mentioned on the page where you're seeing this video and instead watching this vid which will help give you a little bit of guidance as to which path to choose and also some fundamental information about the CCNA you might not be aware of. And first off, there are two paths to your CCNA. The two exam path is your ICND-1 and ICND-2 exams, the exam numbers there being 100-101 and 200-101 respectively. And then the cleverly named one exam path, of course, is the CCNA routing and switching exam. 200-120 is the latest version of that exam. Now, the natural questions are the ones I get regularly. You know, first off, is one path easier than the other? Nothing wrong with asking that. We're all human. And speaking of being human, we're all watching our dollars. So it's a good question to ask, you know, is one path less expensive than the other? More importantly than those two questions, though, I believe is does an employer care? Because if you're not looking for a new job now, you might be looking for one down the road, you might be looking to advance. And you know, is your employer going to care whether you took the one exam path or the two exam path? And we'll wrap it up by discussing at the same time, really, does anyone care? Well, first off, let's get this one out of the way. Is one path easier than the other? Overall, no. It's the same body of information. You're going to have to know your stuff one way or the other during your CCNA. Hey, if they were giving them away, it wouldn't be worthwhile to have. The key here is the sheer volume of information you're responsible for on the single exam, especially if this is your first computer certification that you've studied for, because that single exam I mean, it covers a lot of different topics. We're talking the fundamentals of Ethernet to route redistribution. You've got OSPF, EIGRP, binary and hex conversions. You get the idea. So your exam is going to jump around quite a bit as far as the topics go. And again, if they were giving this thing away, it would not be worthwhile to have. Now, if you're new to networking, and I want to remind you, we all are new to networking at some point. I was new, you're new, everybody has that starting point. I would take a strong look at the two exam path because the, what that allows you to do is get the fundamentals down cold during your ICND-1 exam studies before tackling the more complex topics on the ICND-2 exam. I'm not saying the ICND-1 is an easy exam, it's not, but you do lessen the number of categories, basically, or subjects that you have to study in order to pass that exam. But frankly, if you're an experienced network admin, you've been around for a little while, you've got some other certifications, you have the fundamentals of networking down cold, I would take the single exam. Now, is one path cheaper than the other? Yeah, five bucks, you know, and I'm not discounting five dollars. I've known times where five dollars was a lot of money, uh, just as you have. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now, the single CCNA exam is $295. The individual exams, the ICND exams, are $150 a pop. You know, there's your five bucks, $300 versus $295. Now, does an employer care which path you took, and does anyone really care which path you took? Is it going to impact your career? And the short answer to that, frankly, is no. It's not something that you would put on a resume or bring up in an interview. There's no reason to. When someone asks about my CCIE, you know, they might ask, you know, how long did you study, that kind of thing, but they're not saying, you know, well, exactly how long did you study, when did you take this, when did you take this, when did you take this. Someone might ask you offhandedly about your CCNA path in an interview or a conversation, but it's not like they're going to say, oh, well, you know, you took the two exam path and we're only hiring people who took the single exam. Yeah, nothing like that. They're not going to look down their nose at your exam path. And frankly, if they do, you probably don't want to work there anyway. But again, short answer and long, really, no, people do not care whether you took the one exam path or the two exam path. It simply doesn't matter. But what I do want to tell you is whichever path you choose and pursue, I want to congratulate you for doing so because it's one thing to talk about it. We all know people, oh, I'm going to start studying one of these days, blah, blah, blah. but you're actually getting that job done, and I congratulate you on that. I hope this video has been helpful in helping you choose your path to the CCNA. I hope to see you out of BryantAdvantage.com starting in May 2016. We'll have some great freebies and some near freebies to help you earn these certifications. And I'm on YouTube right now at slash user slash CCIE12933. I've got a brand new video series starting there this week that I hope you'll join me for. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for watching.